If anyone could fully understand the phrase, the dog days of summer, it would be NFL players. After weeks of practicing against each other, the Giants are looking forward to a change of pace as they are headed to Ohio for a few days of joint sessions with the Cleveland Browns leading up to their second preseason game. This will be the first time they'll get to test themselves against an unfamiliar foe. A business trip in the NFL requires many layers of planning. While the players are en route to Cleveland, the Giants operations team and equipment staff are one step ahead, making sure everything is perfectly in place upon Big Blue's arrival. And we welcome you to the Cleveland Browns practice facility as the Giants begin joint practices with the Browns here on Thursday and again tomorrow on Friday before their preseason game in Cleveland on Sunday afternoon. They're going to get different looks, whether it's from Kevin Stefanski's offense or Joe Wood's defense, so it prepares you for the different type of game adjustments that you're going to make. Oh, yeah, it's on a lock here. Before the festivities begin, some ground rules need to be set. That's where both teams' leadership councils come into play. Uh, so we're just here to get better, man. Have fun. Have fun. That was a long little drive. That was a, that was a little, little draw. I'm good now. And when I seen the bus to stop, though, like you hear that little compression. I'm like, I look outside, there ain't nothing but houses outside. I'm like, where are we <laughs> at? Come outside. <laughs> bro, hey, bro, damn. We in the neighborhood. <laughs> they bring you back to uh, them little league days. <laughs> look at my ball in the air, though. It's pure in the air. It's a spiral. Terrible. Honestly, bro, anybody out here point at something they want to see get hit, I hit it. Like, hey, I think, you know, look how KG throw. He throw that like he mad. Bro. We got Cam Newton right here. KG the first dude from the city I met that's country <laughs> strong. Is it this country strong? Yeah. <laughs> he's from the city. He's like, <laughs> he's like country strong. We wearing no armor. Oh my Jesus. No in the way. That's a ball. We playing baseball. <laughs> ball. <laughs> Turn me up. We finally get to work. Get some. Now, let's take care of business. Block getting off the get-go. No, what the f you gotta do. If you don't know, ask. So most importantly, everybody to the ball. And everybody put a hat under a hat, man. Let's kick that ass, you heard? Giants on me, Giants on three. One, two, three. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. 
The fun and games in Cleveland go well beyond the boundaries of the gridiron. With productive joint practices in the books, it's time to let loose while still building chemistry and perhaps working on your handicap. This is my little brother. This, yeah, this, is, my this is my little brother. Hey, man. You know, I'm going to beat Tay today, all day. See right here? Look at get, get a screenshot right there. Going down. Man, we're about to get loose. We got Danny Dimes over here hitting bombs. You can check him out real quick. Hey, what's up, Tay? That's a rock. Oh, <laughs> Okay, we got some points. Okay, okay. run it back, run it back. There you go. Uh -uh. Yeah. That was nice. Just let it go. Just let it go. You gonna let that club go? Oh, yeah, don't let it go. Don't let it go. Yeah. Oh! Done right here. We've got the Nike flip flops on. He's ready to roll. Oh, yeah! That's a good swing. That's a good start. To the back. Carrying the team over here. That might be in the hole. Hey, come on, Freddie. Have a plan, Freddie. You're just banging balls? The rock and roll capital of the world is just the opening act for the Giants training camp tour. After a quick pit stop at East Rutherford, New Jersey, the team is headed on the road again, this time to Joe Judge's old stomping ground, Foxborough, Massachusetts, for joint practices with the New England Patriots. Our focus today is a team has come up here and compete against a quality opponent. So we're going to structure this working together to make sure we work some techniques on both sides of the ball, offense and defense for both us and the Patriots. Let's get this thing popping, cuz. Let's get it popping. Hey, we got fans today, baby. Let's go. Great week of work. Hey, we're gonna cap it off Sunday, baby. MetLife, y'all be there at 6 p.m. Let's get it.
All these great players, they, they watch like so much film. Like, uh, lifting all that, whatever, but uh, a lot of film. So they're just comfortable knowing what to expect. And you wouldn't think. And the great thing about Reeves is he was better in off than he was in press. Everyone's doing the press, but he'll be in one-on-one so, off. Like, I said, bro, how can you know uh, it's a slant or a fade? Like, they give you the same step. Bro, you just know, I just know. I'm like, he could never explain it. Where, like, to leave would be like, oh, I back, pro personnel, Kansas City back in the day with Alex Smith. And they had two back I, and pro, pro formation. I, it was hitches. I literally, he went to Denver the next year. First play, like, second play of the game, I back, pro personnel, he jumps the hitch, gets a pick six. Picking up on opponents' tendencies requires a great deal of time and concentration. Two things Logan Ryan has learned over his first eight seasons in the league. That enabled Ryan to emerge as the Giants' defensive leader in 2020. The identity of the DBs is, is confidence. We just ooze confidence. You got a lot of guys with talent, but um, we're, we're comfortable whatever our matchups are, whatever they may ask us to be, and we're going to be really versatile as well. We have some versatile pieces to play multiple positions, and the multiplicity is really our goal to give coordinators some troubles. And at the end of the day, if we need to match up and, and take a guy out, then we got to match up and take that out. So confidence is the word we're preaching. Anytime you out there, be the baddest man on the field. Baddest man on the field, bro. We had an elite secondary. The man in the middle is Blake Martinez, who finished third in the league in tackles in 2020. The Stanford product is clearly well-read when it comes to Giants legends at his position. Identity of the linebacker group is, uh, is a nasty one. You kind of look back at the great history um, that's been here from Antonio Pierce, Carl Banks, Jesse Armstead, Lawrence Taylor, the list goes on and on. Hey baby, let's go out there like a bunch of crazy dogs and have some fun. You have to be the dude out there. You have to make the plays, you have to change momentum, you have to do everything you can to help your team win. And people are relying on you at every single moment. Up front, they'll be relying on Leonard Williams to set the tone. A playing style that can be described as ferocious, high energy. The nickname tells it all. We call wild dogs for a reason. You know, on any team I've been a part of, the defensive line takes a big pride on, you know, being the leaders of the team, being what drives the team. And uh, I love that Coach Chaos calls us the wild dogs. We got another step today. It's a great, another step. We got to play this team for 60 minutes. You know they say? No more. No more. Make this win today. You know, we get after it up front. We're hunting down quarterbacks. We're chasing down screens. We're breaking out of the pocket, uh, you know, helping out the secondary of the ball gets back there and uh you know just being relentless and being dogs up front put all those ingredients together and the defense is ready to make some noise in 2021 while building off the flashes they showcased in the second half of last season. The identity of this defense, tough, hard nose. Hey, laser two, laser two, ready? The identity of this defense is just relentless. I think when you turn on that tape, you're gonna see 11 guys running to the ball. You're gonna see people trying to make big hits, trying to get the ball off the carrier. When I was at Stanford, intellectual brutality was kind of our saying, and I think that encapsulates what our defense is about. Linda, Linda, Linda. Let's go, let's go. 12-12, let's play aggressive. Hey, see that, see that split, see that split. We're gonna be multiple and versatile, which I pride myself on. Good stop, good stop. We're not out of control, we're all in the right position, right stance, right alignments. Hey, play it, play it, play it, play it. Hey, New York, New York. Set the edge. I love this defense. I think we really established something great here. You know, we're building our identity. Let's go, Razzie. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, I think it's a little old school. I think that's going to come from Joe Judge. Uh, but I think you got to also be smart to play in this defense. That comes from Pat Graham. What's happening? I'm here. But you're going to have some tough dudes, and I think that's just the tradition of the Giants defense. Let's go! No! Let's go! Turn it up! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Yeah! Yeah! You live! You live! 
see where you're at before the season. So where are you guys at in your mind? We're still growing. We're still improving each and every day. But we got a, got two weeks to, to show that improvement and get it done when we uh, go against Denver.